यू नो पावर बी आई बट स्टिल यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड हाउ डज इट हैपन वाई इट हैपन्स हाउ कैन आई डू दैट दिस इज द सीरीज फॉर यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन एबस्ट्रेक्ट थीसिस सीरीज एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ कैन वी यूज द गूगल शीट कनेक्टर सो recently these connectors has been in so let's look at you know what this connector has for us so let's jump on to the power bi and in power bi we would like to add a new source so to add the new source we are going to go to the get data here on the get data on the home tab and then we are going to click on that and there we will choose the more option once we choose the more option we have to search for the google sheets connector uh, it's not going to be here so either i can scroll down or best is that you know i just search it so i got this google sheet connector i can click on that and i can say connect once i connect that it is going to say con connecting to a third party service so google sheet relies on the third party service such as features and availability may vary over time okay so we say continue we want to do with that now it's asking for the url to get the url what we have to do is basically uh, we have now have to go to our google sheet so i already created this employee record google sheet uh, here which typically i share with you from the github i go here and i say share share with others and with the restricted mode i am trying to copy the link so i copied the link i come back here on my power bi and i paste this link and i say okay it is asking you need to sign in once i click in sign in it is going to give me a pop up on my default browser and i need to log in so let me do that step so i have signed in and i say connect then i see this sheet so i click on this sheet so if i only click here it will only show me preview but if i click here it will show me this now you will see that it does not identify the uh, columns correctly so what we need to do is instead of going to the load we have to go to now transform data to transform this now inside the transform data we got this sheet i already have some sheet in this um, file but i got this as a second sheet now what i can do here is basically i can go to the home tab and inside the home tab i have this option use first row as header and i'm going to do that as i do that it's automatically also detected the data type and it just change it another thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to double click on the name of the query and change it and then i'll say close and apply so in this one way you can easily get your google sheets into the power bi so go ahead and try this option out but be careful i already tried out if it is in excel if it is in excel directly uploaded it's not going to work out i have already discussed how can you use such sheets in one of my blog uh, better together when i discuss power app how can we use power app to save the data there and i have discussed that option that option might work out for you so you can go ahead and try that option but that require share anyone with link so you can try that out but this option for google sheet is pretty good it's working with the login so go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comment subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you